In today's video we are down Oatlands Village here in Guernsey in the Channel Islands so if you've been to the channel before welcome back and if you're new here welcome to the channel which is dedicated to life living on the beautiful island of Guernsey. Now you can see I've made a start so in today's video as I mentioned earlier we are at Oatlands Village and I would like to show everyone exactly what it's like in this village it's in detail this video so i go into most of the shops go inside have a look around i want to show everyone what's down here to offer there is a really big range of stuff you can see we've got a goldsmiths here i actually try and go in as many shops as i can although i don't go in all of them and in one of the shops i go around the back and see how they make all the well they show me the kitchens of how they make all their chocolates that's a really nice shop down here so there's a mixture of stuff it's for all the family so if you can come here on a miserable day or you can just come here on a nice day it's completely up to you but there is stuff for all the family you can shop there's restaurants they've got a mini golf course it's a 19 hole mini golf course and you can see we've got lovely thatched roofs and you've got all the kilns the old kilns off we go virtual tour so i'm going to take you along with me welcome to oatlands village there we go most important thing where's the toilets on the left here so first thing you come across as you walk in you can see we've got that uh, mini crazy golf or mini little golf course in the summer months uh, when the visitors are back uh, you come down here and it is really really busy it's quieter today so it's ideal for filming so you really get a, a good look at what's going on so we're following it along and we go through the little gaps you can see this would be I'd say the main part going in and you got the gifts and watchmaker here on the right great shop I've been in there to get my watch repaired before of course they sell all the bits and pieces with it jewelry let's go through so we've got a few signs we've got karma beauty which is a beauty salon on the right and just to the left you obviously can see we've got the aqua and pet center if you get confused where to go this signs really helpful or it may confuse you more depending how you look at it <laughs> So we've got shops, all sorts. It's a nice little centre. You can see it's got a beautiful feel about it, Oatlands Village. And I loved all the thatched roofs. It really feels like a little villagey type. So we're going to go into the Aqua and Pet Centre. Now, um, we did get permission from the owner of the shop before, just to make sure they didn't mind me going and film. So we're all good there. In we go you can see there is a massive variety of fish to choose from in here and I'm just going to go for a little walk through um, and you can see it's not just fish there is other bits and pieces here any pet foods certainly anything to do with aquariums and fish tanks they've got it here. I bought some stuff over the years from here through we go they got filters pumps all sorts on to the next one so I come across here this is Rebecca's chocolates this is just next door to the aquarium or opposite so they do some really nice fudge you can see the sign they offer quite a bit here and i'm going to go in now i wish i wish you had smell vision so you could smell how nice it's smelling here i gotta tell you this is really impressive um on my advice is don't go in here hungry because you'll come out with bags of chocolate the chocolate is just so unique and the stuff they make in here is really skilled I'll give you a close-up of some of the stuff they do. Um, they do a really good little... Uh, there's a train I'll show you in a minute. And everything's packaged up really nice. 
and it's displayed really well in this shot so i'm going to show you this little one here which took my fancy look at this it's a chocolate guernsey island love that so it's all locally made it's beautiful and we've got some guitars as well they make some amazing stuff chocolate piano and i was uh luckily i there's a, i like this one look there's a guernsey donkey on a on the on the island of guernsey this is a train i mentioned and the owner said i could go through the back and just see the chocolate so this is the kitchen so i was really lucky so thank you very much for letting me into the back of the kitchen this re i love this look at this I could have watched this for a long time. It just, it's just, it just like memorize, <laughs> just like makes you get really sleepy watching those go around. They mesmerize you. Look at that, the chocolate. Nice chocolate flowing around. Wow, amazing. Look at this, so they're making a uh, chocolate bunny. That's in the mold. And the stickers. So that's handmade in Guernsey. So all those stickers go on their pack, on their chocolates. Into the next thing. So I hope you're getting a good view of all the shops. Tussy mussy flowers, or tossy mussy flowers. All you need is love and flowers. How good's that? So again, got permission from the owner to go in and film. Always worth checking. Don't want to upset anyone. The smell in here again is lovely. This is crack and place. If you ever need any flowers made or any delivered for like Christmas, birthdays, this is worth coming to. Again, I've ordered from here loads. And they deliver it to your house or you know, whatever you want. Very nicely displayed. I find with Oatlands Village, you never know what the shops are like. You go in and you think it's going to be a small shop and they're really big. It's, it's really deceiving the size of the shops because you can't really tell from the outside how big they are get some teddies sent with your flowers very colourful so obviously to take your order what you like and uh, they'll deliver it to whatever address you like. And there's a little thing to go with it as well. You can see it's not just flowers. They do other bits and pieces as well, which is always good to see. You can see it's quite quiet at the moment, but as I mentioned, it does get very busy here in the... Uh, busy months not so much lately obviously because of what's been going on but uh, it's gonna pick up this year for sure now look at this look what I found down here Guernsey honey I must admit that looks nice very relaxing down here it's got a lovely feel about it and I saw this on the roof and they're scattered around the village lovely big chairs to sit on right into the next shop so we've got craft wise so the arts and crafts fabric and walls fancy dress I hadn't actually been in this shop before it was the first time I'd been in so it's a good little shop to know about this one because um, there's an upstairs which I didn't know about and the only one thing it's a guy at works here or he owns it reminded me there was an upstairs so I went up there as well but you can see loads of little knickknacks loads of really nice stuff arts and crafts and the upstairs I mentioned is the all the fancy dress and I must admit I've looked for fancy dress in the past and I didn't know it was they had fancy dress here so I know where to go next time loads of bits and pieces one of these shops you go in and uh, you just keep looking because you never know what you're going to see in here there's loads of colour walls 
all bits and pieces great for parties and so I'm going up the steps look up I go everything here there was I didn't show it all but there's so many costumes you can uh, buy up here all sorts big room full so if you live in Guernsey and everyone fancy dress make sure you visit this one Oatlands you can even uh, buy a policeman's hat look So we've got the embroidery and printing shop, which is Game Changers. And again, over the years, I've had embroidery done here. Oh, who's that in the shop? I wonder who that is. Beautiful buildings, very well maintained, great local businesses here. So to support them the best we can. Someone's having a relaxing time on the chair. I recognise those two. So we've got, um, there's a new business opened around here and I'll uh, show you in a bit nursery and we've got the big Otie and Joey's in front we go in there later so this was a new business hasn't been here too long it's the Willow nursery and preschool that's reasonably new I think my daughter will be going there soon maybe we never know And uh, the toy shop. I was going to go in, but unfortunately, um, it was closed. Which is a shame, but never mind. So it's a good toy shop. A lot of decent stuff in there. Worth a look. The gift wrap, stop, gift wrap stuff as well. And obviously, love to buy local. So I just want to show you this bit, the miniature golf, 18 hole. Again, not too busy, but uh, really good fun, actually. Very well maintained. We can see all the grounds has kept really well. The times I've been down here and it's been heaving with people. It's quite strange to see it quiet, but quite nice. To see it's all still open and ready to go. So that's the Oatlands Mini Golf. And of course I didn't go in here. But this is a great attraction. This is the Kiln Restaurant. And there's a lot of people in there. So I know obviously some people don't like being filmed. So I didn't go in there. But uh, really worth a look. And we have the Beauty Salon. Karma Beauty. Now this is a great salon. Calm Beauty has been around for many years in Guernsey. And we're going in, so it's an on-site beauty salon. So not bad, is it? So you can go for a massage, have your nails done, facials, they do it all here. Um, show you the nice rooms. So very accessible because we think all these businesses have on-site parking. So you don't have to worry about any parking. How relaxing does this look? I need a massage. Yeah, lovely. So they do all the oils and everything. They do retail, so they sell the beauty products here as well. The beds are all heated. And we've got all the nice candles here. The salon smell lovely. Um, I know quite a bit, quite a lot about this salon because um, it's my wife's. <laughs> so I didn't ask after I have permission to go in there. I just went in. <laughs> yeah, not bad. Racing cars, one pound a ride. Now I didn't go on these before you're wondering. And again, great for the kids. Those cars look good, didn't they? So you can see there's a lot for children. 
Trampolines. I'm not sure I'd be on a trampoline. Don't know if I'd feel sick. And this is the bit the kids love. Oti and Joey's. In we go. Uh, so you've got a cafe down here. You've got a big play area for the children. I'll show you that as well. Again, I had permission from manager just to make sure I could film in here. It was quite quiet, so it was ideal. As you can see, this is normally full up of people. And you're going to love what's hanging from the ceiling. Have you ever seen one of the Trilanders, the Joeys? Well, guess what? They've got one in here. It is huge. Look at it. They look so much bigger when you're underneath it. So that's the Joey. Let me know if you've been on one of these. I have. The Trilanders used to fly from all over the place around the Channel Islands. And the Joey had the face on it, didn't it? The, the eyes at the front. Amazing. That's just so good to see that. So here's the uh, soft area or the play area for the children. That's my daughter. And she loved it. I mean, it's really impressive. I would certainly recommend if you've got children, you live in Guernsey, you probably would have come down here at some point or you come down here all the time. Really good for the kids. They love it. She had a really good time in there. They've got all the um, ball, soft balls and there's my wife there. And they've got like, machines to suck all the balls up. Absolutely loved it. So much was crying when we had to leave. That was good fun. Just loads and loads of stuff down here. Love the kitchen. So I just wanted to do all this to show you that, you know, the things down here uh, are very well maintained. It's a great family place to come to. I can't recommend it enough. It's just so nice. So you've got the cafe, still in Oti and Joey's. So obviously you've got loads of cakes, loads of food, everything you want down here. Just a beautiful place to finish your visit.